hopes for college. Patricia Heaton's acting career was almost over before it had truly begun. She was given one last chance, one audition that would make or break her dreams. She raced to the audition room with sweat pouring down her face, fought for her spot in line, and was ready to kiss the co-star she didn't even know was an actor. Stay tuned for the story of how Patricia Heaton went from one rejection to the next, to becoming a three-time Emmy Award-winning actress. Patricia was born on March 4, 1958, in Bay Village, Ohio. Patricia's mom died from an aneurysm before her 13th birthday, leaving her father Chuck Heaton with five children. This early loss of her mother had a profound effect on her. Patricia Heaton had said that she struggled with feelings of extreme loneliness after her mother's death and that she felt like she had lost a part of herself. Despite these challenges, she had also spoken about how the loss inspired her to pursue a career in acting and to find comfort in creative expression. After high school, Patricia enrolled for a Bachelor of Art degree at Ohio State University, and during her time, she would become a sister of the Delta Gamma sorority. Patricia has always loved acting as a little girl, so she gave all she could for the art degree. After that, she traveled to New York City to study with drama teacher William S. When she was finally ready in 1987, she made her debut Broadway appearance in the chorus of Don't Get God Started. The bunny hop top to the top of the square. <laughs> Patricia Heaton auditioned for various television shows and commercials, but was not selected. Heaton also struggled to find stable work. She had to take various odd jobs and long hours to make ends meet. Despite these rejections and struggles, she remained determined and continued to pursue her passion for acting. Together, with a few other students with similar passions, Patricia would create an off-Broadway acting trope called Stage 3. Although Stage 3 performed below par, it gave Heaton just the right career boost she needed at the point. And soon, she caught the attention of the casting director of ABC's drama 30-something. Patricia made six appearances on series between 1989 to 1991. She would then continue to make other television appearances in shows like Party of Five, The King of Queens, and Danny Phantom. However, her big break came as her role as Deborah Barron. I'm sorry. That's right, you're sorry. That's right, I'm sorry. On Everybody Loves Raymond, for which she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in the last seven seasons of the show. With a career spanning over four decades, Patricia has three Emmy Awards, two Primetime Emmys, and a Daytime Emmy, and a host of other impressive achievements to her name. You look at Patricia now, and you are almost tempted to believe that she was born for the screens because of how easy she makes it. While all like the best of them, the foundations of her career were built on multiple rejections. Patricia struggled for prominent roles in the industry. The best she was doing at that point was the minor appearances in shows like Maddox and Alien Nation, but she always wanted more. She even had to create her own shows to keep busy, and her drama degree wasn't so fancy in the real world. Patricia was fed up, but she decided to give acting one last shot and if this backfires, she would go back to college for a new degree. With fingers crossed, Patricia moved to Los Angeles so she would be better positioned for screen jobs. That was sort of my last effort. I was saying if something doesn't happen or start happening in two years, I would have to go back to school for a degree that is worth something, the American actress shared with Entertainment Weekly in 2019. Well, I think we all know how that turned out. It wasn't long before she landed one of the biggest roles of her career, and according to her, it came with the worst additions. Everybody Loves Raymond was that sitcom that brought Heaton's name to our living rooms, but auditioning for the part was an experience she never wants to go through again, and it would take a kiss to save the day. She would start her morning with a fight with her husband, and then she had nobody who would watch her kids. Her babysitter was in college and needed to be in class, but somehow Patricia would convince her to wait as she raced to the venue. Getting there frustrated, Patricia would plead with 20 women so she could cut the line. At this point, she was all sweaty and definitely not looking par for the job. Patricia hurriedly read her part for the audition. She met co-star Ray Romano for the first time in the room and, quite interestingly, she didn't think he was an actor. Patricia thought that he was there to take orders for coffee. For that part, she was required to kiss him, and that was it. Everything clicked. So she got the part. Considering that she was only a few months away from going back to school for another degree, this was a dream come true. But then the job would demand more than she had earlier anticipated. 
Patricia was featured in all 210 episodes of Everybody Loves Raymond, an amazing record. She would also go on to break her own data by starring in over 215 episodes of the American sitcom The Middle. But that's just as smooth as it gets. She has shared on multiple occasions how much of a struggle it was to juggle mother duties and maintain her high-profile acting career. Heaton has four children and all four of them she delivered through a cesarean section, and two of them came while she was on the set of Raymond. I don't know how I did it on Raymond. The actress reflected, I have four kids and the first and third seasons I was giving birth to two of them, so I was going through surgery and then right back at the show. Her last kid was barely two weeks old before she could race back to the set of Raymond. A miracle might have opened the door for her, but it sure took a lot of work to keep those doors open. Four cesarean surgeries with all that work should stretch her body a little bit, right? Well, it did. Here's Patricia's open secret. Patricia Heaton, unlike many celebrities, is very vocal about how cosmetic surgeries helped her in staying in shape. She explained that she gained 50 pounds with each kid, and being an actress at the prime of her career, she had to do something to fix herself up or risk losing her fans. So that when I am looking for a dress to wear on Katie's show, I look like a bag of doorknobs and cottage cheese. I think there is good plastic surgery and bad plastic surgery, the actress told People magazine. I was really in the prime of my career when that was all going on, so it just felt better and made me more confident to restructure my stomach. Plastic surgery got the job done, but the actress is still doing a lot of work to maintain her body. The Emmy Award-winning actress shared that she is exploring all kinds of beauty products and also has a strict diet program. She debated that she does all this because she wants to look her best. However, in a recent interview, Patricia revealed a deeper motivation. It's because I fear that I may never work again if I don't look good. So that's the motivation. She shared a very real pressure to be disciplined if I want to be on TV. She might be scared, but a few would argue that she has no reason to. Keaton was raised as a staunch Catholic. Her sister is a nun, so her religion affects a lot of her perspectives and takes on general issues. And this has raised controversies one too many times. In 2012, during the heat of birth control debate in Washington, she publicly mocked Sandra Fluke, a Georgetown University law student whom congressional reporters barred from testifying in support of health insurance companies funding contraceptives. Although she later apologized, this was far from the last time either. In 2020, through a tweet, she accused the Democratic Party of issues relating to birth control. She tweeted, Why would any civilized person want to support a barbaric platform that champions abortion for any reason through all nine months funded by taxpayers? This caused another huge stir on the internet for days. But the actress was unapologetic this time. Patricia Heaton has dedicated her time, influence, and resources to a lot of charitable causes. She has traveled to many villages in Africa with extreme poverty, supporting them in all ways she can. Patricia Heaton, now 64, is still as graceful as she was when she graced the screen for the first time. She recently paid $5 million for a house in Toluca Lake. The sitcom superstar has an estimated net worth of $40 million. Now it's your turn. Do you have any found memories of Patricia Heaton? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then please watch our other videos on all the beautiful actresses of yesteryear.